The United States Constitution prohibits states from denying individuals life, liberty, or property interests without first providing procedural due process. Procedural due process generally requires providing a notice and a hearing. Equal protection may also be triggered in connection with due process claims when the government action impacts a certain class of persons. In Stanley v. Illinois, the United States Supreme Court considered whether a state law presumption that unmarried fathers weren't fit guardians violated the Constitution. Peter and Joan Stanley lived together off and on for 18 years and had three children together. The couple never married. When Joan passed away, the state of Illinois took custody of the Stanley children based on a state law that presumed unmarried fathers weren't fit guardians for their children. Illinois law had processes in place to take children into state custody on the basis of neglect or dependency. For neglect, the state could remove a child from the parents following proper notice, a hearing, and a finding that the parents were unfit. Dependency removal was permitted if a child had no living parents or guardians. The dependency statute defined parents in a way that excluded unmarried fathers. Therefore, Peter wasn't considered to be a surviving parent, and his children were taken into state custody without any notice or finding that Peter was an unfit parent. Pursuant to a state dependency hearing, Peter's children were declared wards of the state and placed with court-appointed guardians. Peter appealed, arguing that he'd been denied his rights to constitutional due process and equal protection. The Illinois Supreme Court affirmed the guardianship proceeding. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.